Without further ado, our first uh, entrepreneur uh, presenting today is Alex Westella from Quicker Care, and he is revolutionizing the way that we find and get treatment without waiting uh, uh, for two hours in the waiting room, which is one of my favorite uh, um, ideas because I hate to wait. So please welcome Alex Costello. <laughs> How are you doing today? My name is Alex Costello and I'm one of the co-founders of Quicker Care. Quicker Care is on a mission to create a zero weight experience for any patient who's having a minor emergency. And we started this just two years ago when my neighbor Mike here had an episode just about 10.30 at night. So him and his partner, they get on their phones to start self-medicating. And just like so many of us who start Googling our symptoms, we all find out the same common result, that we're gonna die in six months. And that was horrible to find out. So they get in their car and they immediately start driving to the closest ER to then find out that he has to wait three hours to see a doctor. So after they wait three hours to see a doctor and they have just a terrible experience, they get home and they explain next day to all their families and friends about their experience trying to get into this ER. And I, I just informed them that actually an extra two mile drive, they could have gone up the road to find another facility that tends to have the lowest wait times in Orlando, and that's because really nobody knows they're there. And so I got my colleagues around the industry to just talk about what happens in that 30 minutes, and we came up with that patients tend to want to know these three questions. One, we want to know what type of facility that we can go to. Is it an ER, is it an urgent care, or a retail clinic? We also want to find out where we want to go. The problem is we just tend to pick what's closest. And lastly, we want to know how long the wait is. That bit of information could really help us in making our decision. And then we also found out that in just recently that in 2017, there were 141 million visits in the emergency room with an average wait time of 171 minutes. And 82% of the time, those people were discharged, which means there's a huge market here that we needed to disrupt. So we created the first platform that lets you search, find, and hold your place in line and immediate care facilities. And the patient journey goes like this. Just like Mike, you do your search on your phone, last month alone, that happened eight million times. 300,000 of those times, they ended up on our platform. They then get to the next page where they select what type of facility, they get geolocated, they get to the next page where we show them the closest facilities and that when that facility can see them. They then choose a facility that, that works best for them and then they actually choose to hold their place in line so they don't have to wait there. They put in their symptoms, their demographics, and then they click submit, and it's that easy. And then the facility just gets something like this. It gives them all that information, they click export, and we seamlessly integrate into their EMR. So with this, we've created some unique value propositions. One, we're able to reduce wait times by about 35%. Two, we recently did a study with one of our customers interviewing patients that came in through us and patients that just walked in and our patients tend to be 40% happier than ones who just walk in and have to wait. And lastly, to the obvious, is uh, we've, we've averaged about a 10% increase in revenue at most of the facilities that we work with. And so because the emergency space has been you know, highly you know, under, untapped in technology, we've noticed that there's been a lot of competition that has arrived since we started. And so we differentiate in many ways. And one, and first, um, we create a marketplace. Most of our competitors sell white label software that then puts a burden of finances onto their marketing department where they have to spend additional dollars and lowers the ROI of their product. And we've done all that legwork for them. Just like everybody else, we sell software, so we white label as well so we can enhance their digital footprint. We created that custom technology that calculates wait time. And the wait time isn't just calculated on what's going on in the facility. We actually take into consideration where that person that it's searching is located and the traffic data in between. So it really creates a unique experience for that user. We're highly customizable, so we work with every facility on how they intake those patients and make it a better experience where most of our competitors are not doing that. And lastly, we service all immediate care, whether it be an ER, an urgent care, retail clinic. We, we want to actually be on the forefront of, of every type of care. So we built a SaaS business model and a pretty simple business model. We charge $3,000 a month for emergency room, $500 for an urgent care facility, and 250 for a retail clinic. And we tend to fit really well inside of facilities 
that are in highly competitive markets and tend to own multiple locations. And we built it simple because our market is extremely large. $1.2 billion in the US alone, 10 billion worldwide, and we know we can, we can scale this. We're currently in three cities that are pretty active, and our go-to-market strategy is to go to cities where our website is getting the most traffic. And so we, this year, we're, we're looking at launching into four more new cities where we'll be able to tackle that wait time. And so because we have such a, a large feat ahead of us, we built a really strong team. Starting with Alexis, he spent years right after college inside of the Canadian health system, developing strategies to lower the cost of immediate care, but increase the access and availability for it um, inside of the Canadian health system. So he's been able to really understand the economics of, of the industry. Raghu, my, my colleague and CTO, um, spent years as CTO of companies like Paycheck, Elsevier, and Verity, where he's built mass scale infrastructure to support millions of users at one time. And lastly, I myself have spent the last 12 years building companies from the ground up inside of digital health, and those companies include companies like TitoCare, Medulin, and ZocDoc. And our progress today has been extremely strong. We've, we've gotten our monthly user base to 300,000 users who do searches on our website. We've signed up 36 customers in just the last nine months which equated to $88,000 in monthly recurring revenue. And we continue to grow that every, every month. And our current investment opportunities that we're looking to raise $1.1 million right now, which will add on 80 new facilities in the next 18 months, increase our revenue to $3.3 million in, over a course of a year, and increase our user base by 200%. So I ask anybody who's in here, whether you're a customer, an investor, or just a user, who wants to join us in crushing the wait?